topic is water. Water is essential for life of plants and animals. Crops cannot be grown without water. Water is a basic need for all. There are many uses of water. So water is very important resource. It is called life liquid. And 71% of the earth's surface is covered by water. There are many uses of water. Example, drinking, washing, brushing, bathing, cooking, watering plants. These are all the daily uses of water. And water is used for even transportation. And water is necessary for even animals and plants for the living. And there is fresh water is 2.5 to 2.75 percent only. So we have to conserve the water. Now let us know the other sources of water. Ponds, oceans, lakes, streams, rivers are the natural source of waters. Now let us know one by one about oceans now oceans are the biggest source of water on the earth you can see the blue color on the globe that indicates the earth covered by water and next resource is rivers rivers is the source of rain you get a rain a river water is got from the rain and melted snow from uh, snow from mountains reaches the river during the summer. So rivers overflow. All the rivers flow in a definite route and finally reach the ocean. Next, and you can know some important rivers of the Karnataka are Kaveri, Krishna, Tungabhadra, Netravati, Kabini. These are the important rivers of Karnataka. And next resource is springs. Spring. The water that is stored under the earth's crust and comes out due to the pressure through an opening is called as spring. Rainwater which enters the earth through the loose portion will be collected as underground water. And this comes out in the form of spring. And next is well. Underground water obtained by digging the earth's crust to a certain depth is called as well. And bore wells are also there and they are dug deep into the ground. This is also source of water. Ponds. Ponds are artificially made low level portion of the land to store water and these are called as ponds it is the capacity of the water to store and it is having less capacity it is constructed in such a way that rainwater drains from high level and it will be stored in the pond rainwater reaches the pond by running through rivulets rivulets are nothing but small streams Next sources is reservoirs. Reservoirs are man-made resource. Man dams are constructed across the rivers to store the water throughout the year to supply water to all the places wherever there is scarcity. And it's also for multi-purpose projects like agriculture, industries also use water. These are capable of storing water in the large scale and these are called as reservoirs and uh, you should know the difference between pond and reservoirs area filled with water either naturally or artificially is pond and reservoir is large natural or artificial lake used to store the water supply These are the reservoirs constructed. Thank you.